What's going on YouTube? Mocha back here with another video. Now if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are really enjoying this content, please drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Guys, we're going for a thousand subs by the end of summer. Let's do this. Now today we're going to be looking at Insurgency Sandstorm. This game, I'm going to tell you why this game is a must cop if you own a console. Now hear me out. I feel like there's currently a crazy demand, obviously, for battle royale games that's why you see a bunch of AAA studios coming out saying we're gonna be the next big battle royale we're gonna do it differently and because it's a AAA studio everyone's believing that's why you have call of duty battlefield and god knows who else is gonna come out god forbid bethesda does something crazy but listen there's another big freaking demand in in console gaming and that's for a nice really smooth playing realistic shooter now look, I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, I backed Insurgency on PC for years and I love that game. No, that's not what happened. But I feel like the biggest question you guys are gonna ask me is, what the hell makes this game different? Why, why should I invest? Why should I purchase this? And I'm gonna tell you this, listen, listen. Let me paint this scenario for you. You're playing Call of Duty. You see a guy. You put bullets in him. He doesn't die. Turns around, drop shots you, you're dead. Now tell me, haven't we all been there? Isn't that the most frustrating thing in the world? That you have a guy dead to rights and he still manages to somehow kill you? Right, so you look at insurgency, that's just not gonna fly, never. Never in your life is that shit gonna fly. You have a dude dead to rights, he's dead. So basically in a nutshell, this game is kill or get killed. A common misconception would be, this game is one of the most hardcore shooters you're ever gonna come across. When in reality, I feel like it's 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 just it's more skill based if anything. So if you go into a gun battle and you are the better shooter at the end of the day, you're gonna win it. It's just it's more skill based. It's more understanding your play style and what you bring to the table. And if I couldn't sell you on the game just off that statement, how about this? How about the game is gonna be a lot more slow paced, tactical, but it's still gonna bring that fun environment of a first person shooter into the game. Wild shit's gonna go down, you're gonna have crazy moments, but never, you're never gonna feel the, the downtime, if that makes sense. So this message is for all my shooter heads out there, all my shooter heads on console. Listen, if you guys are tired of the same repetition, the same game every year made by different developers on the same development team, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Okay, so if you're looking for something different, I feel like you guys should really look into Insurgency Sandstorm. We're getting big news coming E3. It's, it's, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be fun, and I feel like you guys are really gonna vibe out with this game. I'm copping day one. I have to, I have to give the respect Insurgency deserves. I missed out on the first one. I only played it for literally a couple hours and just wasn't vibing with it, but I never actually gave it the, the, the chance it deserved. You know what I mean? So now I'm a cop on PC. I'm a get it on PS4. I'm a vibe out with both communities. I'm just going to have a good time because I know this game's going to deliver in a way that we haven't seen yet, especially on console. But that's it for me, guys. I'm getting out of here. If you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, definitely leave a like and consider subscribing today. We're going for a thousand subs. And guys, the support has been amazing so far. And I love you guys for that, seriously. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll see you on the next video.